After coming out as transgender while serving as American University student body president, Sarah McBride was invited to a White House reception honoring the LGBT community. It was there that she met Andy, the man she would marry. They had more in common than their transgender history and they fell in love. But Andy was diagnosed with cancer in September of 2013 and he passed away the following August, just five days after the couple exchanged their vows. I now pronounce that they are bound to one another in the holy covenant of marriage as husband and wife, now and forever. His passing demonstrated to me that every day matters when it comes to building a world where every person can live their life to the fullest. I think about Andy every day and I am so lucky to have had him in my life. I'm a better person, I'm a better advocate, I'm a better family member, friend to people because of the lessons that Andy taught me. Wilmington's own Sarah McBride will become the first openly transgender person to speak at a party convention. McBride, national press secretary for the Human Rights Campaign, says she's fortunate to have a strong support system. But she'll speak on behalf of the millions of LGBTQ people who do not. My name is Sarah McBride, and I am a proud transgender American. I witness history interning at the White House and helping my home state of Delaware pass protections for transgender people. I've seen that change is possible. It's an incredible honor to be able to have this opportunity to share my story, to maybe help educate the country a little bit more about what it means to be transgender, what it's like to be transgender, and about the unfinished work that the LGBTQ community has. I wanted to demonstrate that behind this national debate about transgender rights are real people who hurt when they're mocked, who hurt when they're discriminated against, and who just want to be treated with dignity and fairness. I've known Sarah McBride for years and what she's been doing for our community. And being a voice and elevating our narrative of who transgender people are right now is so important. I want to speak directly to all the young transgender people and your parents who are wondering if the heart of this country is big enough to love you too, and who worry that the results of this election have emboldened bullies in your classrooms and your neighborhoods. But know that no election, no presidency, can change these simple and constant truths. You are worthy, you are beautiful, and you are loved. Young people will be the ones that write the history books of tomorrow. We will get to decide who was right and who was wrong in this moment. And elected officials, they know that. This administration is definitely attempting to roll back the clock, and they'll win some and they'll lose some. But what's clear is that the arc of the moral universe bends towards justice. Knowing Andy left me profoundly changed. But more than anything else, his passing taught me that every day matters when it comes to building a world where every person can live their life to the fullest. And my friends, we have had enough. Now more than ever, we must unite against hate in all of its forms. All of us know that we are far from finished. After all, the fundamental truth remains that no one in the LGBTQ community is totally equal until everyone from the gay Muslim refugee to the queer undocumented youth to the transgender woman of color living right here in Washington, D.C., until every single one of us is treated with dignity and fairness.